Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel. You're getting a little bit more chin here today because I'm doing like a screen and screen recording. Hopefully it works. <laughs> so I wanted to, hmm, I wanted to do a tier ranking for Michael Crichton books. This is not including books that he has written under pen names because there are quite a few <laughs> and um, only in like maybe the last like five to six years that I know that he had pen names. And so I wanted to, I made, I made a tier listing. So this is on um, tierlist.com. Pretty simple. Everybody's been doing these tier lists lately. And I really wanted to, let's make me a little bigger. <laughs> I really wanted to go over Michael Crichton books with you guys and rank them. There are a few on here that I have not read. So you'll see those ones under like not red. <laughs> let's just let's just move into it and let's make my face so much smaller than this because I apologize. Michael Crichton books, if you are as specialized as me and really want to do some tier ranking of Michael Crichton books, don't know why you would, but this is here for you as well. Let me get rid of some of these annoying things. Also, it makes me laugh because it like bleeps out God tier every time. All right, so we have God tier. Loved it. It was really good. Eh, trash and have not read. So let's just get rid of the ones that I have not read so far. We have Eaters of the Dead. Uh, what else is on here? Great Train Robbery. I love that you can't see the titles. This is super useful for me. What else have I not read? Five Patients, I think I haven't read. Westworld. I bet you guys didn't even know that Westworld was written by Michael Crichton. Let me explain. Um, yeah, he wrote freaking Michael Crichton. He wrote Westworld. Um, I, I feel like I want to do like a whole special on like books by Michael Crichton, movies, shows, whatever. Um, at least the creator of ER, the show, wrote Twister, the movie with his wife. Like Michael Crichton has such an underlying influence. I think a package was just delivered. He has such a like underlying influence in pop culture beyond books like there's a lot of movies that were amazing and that he either wrote or is the source material for he he directed whatever we're not getting into it but westworld is by michael Crichton. we love westworld in this house and you do too so respect him all right we're gonna go in a little bit more travels i also haven't read travels is a non-fiction book i believe it's just like an autobiography memoir kind of book and i haven't read it it sounds like I would love it. <laughs> I don't know why it's never just come up for me. Eaters of the Dead I mentioned in that uh, video I did recently with my collection. I just, it's a Beowulf retelling, so I'm really cautious to read it because I love Beowulf. Five Patients, looking back on it, I believe that actually is a nonfiction about his experience working in a hospital. So again, not 100% sure if I want to read that because nonfiction kind of turns me off sometimes. And then Great Train Robbery, I think I know nothing about. I, I have no opinion. So let's get into some of these other ones. I think this was supposed to be Airframe, which I also have not read. Airframe is about a plane crash, I think. Again, have not read it, so not an expert. We have Andromeda Strain. Andromeda Strain, I, I loved it. I loved it. That I did a review pretty recently on my channel if you want to go check that out. Andromeda Strain is one of the most technical books you'll ever read please like as i'm like opening people's eyes to michael Crichton, i realize like i haven't told you guys he's a very technical writer sometimes and i believe andromeda strain was the first book that he wrote with his actual name and it was like the 60s or 70s and um it's just a very technical piece of fiction and it's but for someone like me who did years and years and years of like chemistry classes and having to do like all these scientific reports it is like is good. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it's God tier, but I did love it. Um, a Case of Need, I'm really not sure. I wanted to say this one was about like abortion. It, hmm, it was more about like medical practice and I wasn't a huge fan of it. So Michael Crichton did have his MD. So like it was, I'm going to say eh, because I'm really not certain on that one. Ooh, I don't know. It was really close to nonfiction, but with a little bit of drama. Um, Congo, God tier. That's all I have to say. Congo was the one where there is a man who has taught a gorilla how to use sign language, and they go to take this gorilla back to the Congo to see if it can interact with other gorillas successfully. Um, but then also there's a little bit of a military aspect where 
there is something in the Congo that they want to go and utilize, take advantage of. And so it's kind of hiding behind the mask of this like really cool scientific experiment with the with the gorilla. So yeah, but Congo, it's amazing. Watch the movie. It's a little fucking stupid, but it's also like just a great time. This is disclosure. I'm going to say as well, it was good, but it it was more of like an office drama. This is the one that's dealing with sexual harassment in the workplace. And it's a man that's sexually harassed by a woman, I believe by their um, superior potentially. And the man is like made to seem like an idiot because like, of course, like a man can't be sexually harassed. So that um, it was, it was fine, but it's not what I come to Michael Crichton for. <laughs> I also have Dragon Teeth. Dragon Teeth was really good. It was not what I expected. It is about the, it's like an old Western style book. There's really not technology because I think it's like the 1800s. I don't know time, right? 17, 1800s. And it is dealing with people in the Midwest discovering dinosaurs and literally like the bone wars, I think is what it was called. It's dealing with people fighting to more or less get their name on these dinosaur bones and then also like be the first one to claim it as their discovery. It's a very good book. It, this one came out posthumously and you can kind of tell it's really not like a lot of other Michael Crichton books. This is just Jurassic Park and it's fucking God tier. If you don't know why I named my channel Jurassic Reads, then like it's dinosaurs. It's fucking dinosaurs and science fiction and drama. We have Lost World. Lost World I loved. It, it's no... I haven't read it again, but in theory, I did love it. I did love it a lot, but it's just not as good as the first one. Micro. So micro is dealing with, micro is dealing with like this shrinking people down and there's like a conspiracy with like what happened to these other scientists that got shrunk down, bringing these new scientists and kind of trying to sell this technology. But then also there's like a weird spy aspect. It, it was okay. I would not say I loved it. It took me twice to read it. The first time I didn't finish it because I think I was just like depressed. Let's be real. Second time I did finish it and it was pretty good. I'll, I'll say, I'll say it was really good. <laughs> Next, loved it. Loved it. Again, this one also took me twice to read because it's a little bit more complex. It's dealing with genetics and manipulating genes and copywriting like genetic makeup. Next, went over my head in most ways, but it was an amazing book. There were so many plot lines that all tangled together and they don't necessarily create like a full arc of a story, but you do get a lot of really cool information and you're learning about these concepts and there's so much sprinkled like real information in there that it's terrifying. Pirate Latitudes. We're going to put it as an eh. This was also published posthumously and it's about pirates and similar to like Dragon Teeth. It really isn't what Michael Creighton writes or what he wrote. And so I want to reread it and give it another chance, but it's not up here. Pray loved it this i want to say this is one of the first books that i read by michael Crichton, and it was really important to me and i don't know it just it set the stage for me to love this author and it um if you want to go check it out snyder b books just put up a review on their channel um because i i technically recommended this to them and they read it and they reviewed it and they talked so eloquently about this book it is such a good book but again like she was saying like please go into it expecting a lot of like technical knowledge you don't necessarily have to understand it because michael Crichton does explain it really well but go into these books <laughs> understanding that some of them have some like really heavy science in them and science like explanation um but it's it's definitely what i love about michael Crichton. rising sun it was really good it was really good and i'm pretty sure if i read that now it's probably pretty dated there is a lot of asian and american culture coming together and bashing heads um i believe it's actually japanese culture and you're seeing how these two cultures just deal with a tragedy there has been a woman that has died in this newly opened i think it's like I don't know if it's a conference building or if it's just a building. It might be like a bunch of different things and going through and seeing like how someone can completely re like reprogram 
evidence. I don't, I don't know how to explain that, but like it's people fucking with evidence and then you don't know what's real anymore. Cause you might've seen the original tape and then you're like, wait, are my eyes deceiving me? That kind of stuff. It's, it's very interesting though. Sphere God tier. God, mm, I love it. This shit is okay. Get in the right spot. This is like the most psychological, creepy underwater alien discovery book ever. I love the movie Alien vs. Predator, and it's for a similar reason. You're discovering something that has never been touched before, and it's this like ancient technology that doesn't make sense, and it's just double chef kiss. (laughs) It's so good. State of Fear, trash. That's the one I was warning you about. This is about global uh, climate change, and I don't know if it was my experience, like listening to it as an audiobook and being stressed out at work at the time. It was holiday season, but it was a steaming pile of shit. Terminal Man. Loved it. Almost God tier. This is about a man who has seizures and blacks out and has these like almost like manic episodes, violent outbursts, and it becomes the product, becomes the um, subject of a study where doctors try to like connect nodes to his head and brain i think maybe internally as well and i think they like insert things into his brain so they can try to map what's happening when he has these seizures as well as see if they can control them create them see what's happening it is probably that and andromeda strain are probably the two most technical books i've ever read in my life parts of them do read like science reports (laughs) like really intense college chemistry reports because they're so clinical but i love the commitment to making it so realistic. The last one is Timeline. Really good. Don't really have a lot to say about that one. That one is dealing with time travel and there is the ability to go back in time. Um, You come in when they've already gone back in time and it's kind of been fucked up. What they were trying to do was go back in time so that they could see a landscape and map it, I believe, for some sort of recreation of an area and then somebody gets left behind because they interact with locals in the past and then shit gets fucked up i saw the movie first and so i held off for a really long time in reading the book but the book is very good that's all i have to say about it so this is where we're at obviously i skew heavily toward loving michael Crichton books as we know except for state of fear so yeah um i forget who requested that i do like a tier ranking of them but this is my thoughts this is my uh this is my little arc here probably more of these i gave like five stars at the time these are just like my current thoughts having sat on having read these probably in the last like decade or more i want to reread probably all of them and i have a lot that i would also like to read still on this list so yeah if you're a michael Crichton fan let me know if you have any books that you have completely differing opinions on whatever let me know as well and i'd love to chat with you about them in the comments Uh, i love you guys (laughs) thank you guys so much for being like supportive of my michael Crichton trash in the meantime all right i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time